So, what is my name? What is my profession? What is my life? My name is Jack Steinberger. I'm now 88 years old. Well, right now all of our energy, not all of it, but 80% of it, comes from fossil fuels. And we depend very much on energy use for our life. And if you, as near as I can figure out the way we are going, in 30 years the uh, oil will be gone. And what will we do then? for transportation. You'd get to the moon on a rocket or... A you, UFO. Yeah, <laughs> a UFO. Or you might be able to get, like, hover cars that can go, like, really Light far. Speed. We depend so much in our lifestyle now on the use of this energy that uh, the societies will, uh, will be in enormous turmoil. In some societies, especially the ones which are more near the equator, will be hidden harder. There will be droughts in places where you used to be able to do agriculture. And so I'm concerned that these people, they have to move and they have to kill other people to find another place to live, and uh, there will be a, a world in uh, which is in great trouble. Well, you program, you put all your old stuff in like a computerized bin sort of thing, and you type in what you want in the little keypad thing, and um, it like it programs and then it thinks and then it says if it says recognized then it will cook what you want and if it says unrecognized you have to think of something else i've got a good idea maybe if you put like if you have like this little sort of like pad thing uh where you can put it like in the microwave and then uh you, it depending on which pad you have it turns into like a burger and chips or something but then you'll always get that pad back so once you've got it it'll be on the tray and you can just take it out and eat it and then you have that pad again. <laughs> yeah, you have the pad again. You can have like a pad of ice cream, a pad of cake. Chips. Chips. It, the chief change on the planet is that the greenhouse gas, the carbon dioxide, which used to be about 180 parts per million, now is 280 parts per million which is a huge change. And uh, slowly the temperature is rising, the sea level is rising, the temperature has risen by about 0.8 degrees centigrade on the average. And the uh, sea level has changed by about, I hope I have it right, about, about 10 centimeters, 20 centimeters, but even with the if we wouldn't increase the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere, the amount of greenhouse gas, we wouldn't burn any fossil fuels for a while. The sea level would go up and the temperature would go up for another 50 years. Yeah, well, because of global warming, I think it will be really hot in the summer, really cold in the winter. Yeah, the weather will be like... And then would when it's the winter would be all really, really pale. And then in the summer it would all be really, really, really tanned. Um it would affect our life, like it'll be strange because one half of the year you'd be 
have different skin to the other yet yeah, half. Well, how will our children, our your children, and their children, how will their lives be different from our lives? Well, they'll certainly be very different, but I can't imagine it. What I wish I could change is the way we behave to leave our planet for those days. They face a different world than the world which I knew when I was young. The North Pole and the South Pole might not be here. And then all the like animals that live there I have to come and like live in Scotland because it's cold there. <laughs> yeah, but like I think like maybe because it like the world's getting polluted, and, like loads of different things are happening. Like the bears are dying and stuff. Um, it's just like I think all the things will be like different. I don't know why. Rain would never happen again because then no flowers would grow. Our world, in the end, will be inherited by them, and it's in their interest to have this world functioning properly. Am I concerned because of what's already happened in the way of our use of fossil fuels, in the way of our of the amount of carbon CO2 which is, has accumulated. I am much more concerned about the fact that we continue to use fossil fuels as we did before, if not increasing their use, even though we know it's a wrong thing to do. And I don't see our society reacting in any adequate way to the challenge. This is for me the troubling thing, not what we've already done. It's bad enough what we've already done, but the fact that we can't change our ways is uh, more troubling.